Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today I want to talk about four, car, four cars. I want to talk about uh, four tickers in the car sector. And that's going to be Race, uh, TSLA, CCIV, and Nile. And we'll get right off to the races. So that means we're going to go straight to race. Let's see if we can find her here. Ferrari. Everybody knows what a Ferrari is because they kind of dream of having one if you're into that kind of stuff. And so I'm looking at the, at the earnings last week, and they were pretty good, I thought. The earnings per share were down by seven cents from 120 to 127, but overall the sales were up. And even through COVID, even with the shutdown of their factory for about six to nine weeks, they still were able to pull out a gain in sales. And that kind of excited to me. I personally know somebody that bought their girlfriend a Ferrari a couple weeks ago. And I'm one day, if I don't have me a Ferrari, I'll have me a Stingray Vet. That's my choice that I want to have. Plus, I'll have a Tesla boot. So let's go ahead and look at the stock. That's Ferrari. And it's called RACE. I think we're at a buy zone right now. We've had a pretty nice little pullback for the last month and a half from up here at 233. And we've pulled all the way back to my low support level that I had right down here. The previous high that we had right in here at 199.28. And that's where we pulled back. I got a strong buy if it does pull back below that to 196.12 to hold. So let's go ahead and pull this back up to that 20 day. And we'll take a look at it real fast. There it is. Took me a while to get there. So I've got a strong buy, like I said, down here at 196.12 for a double bottom. Maybe even a little bit lower to that 195.46 spot. And then if it does pull back. But for right now, we did have the nice little two-day sell-off from up here at 120 all the way down to 194. So I think we're ready to retrace back up to break resistance at 206. And if we can get past that to 11.03 and then maybe a sell signal up here at the triple top up here around 217.24 or maybe if it momentum picks up we can get up and try to break this 221 and that would be a real nice trade right there right there at 221 exactly and that'd be like a double top and then i think she would pull back again to maybe right around 206 so i'm excited about race this is one you want to keep on watch i do have a we are in a momentum kind of bullish mode right now above this 100 on the CCI. This is going to be my new uh, case study this week. It's going to be the CCI by Woody's. And I'm going to be watching it real close next week and see if I can start using this in some of my charting skills. But that's race. Again, we have a, a strong buy down here at the double bottom between this uh, 195 to 196 area. And then maybe a resistance to break. If we can get past this 203.69, we can run it on up and hit this other hard resistance at 206. And if we can get past that, I'm definitely going to stay in the trade and run it up to about 211. And that's and then if the momentum even picks up after that, I'll run it long for all next week till probably Wednesday or Thursday and get out of the trade. And that's going to be race. So the next one we're going to talk about is see what's on next on our list. We've got race and we've got the Ferrari and we've got CCIV. Now CCIV is a momentum play right now. And you got a lot of people watching this trade. It has a lot of volume and a lot of price action. It's great to play on the pullbacks. And I called the double top on this one here a little while back. And we're going to go ahead and pull up CCIV on the chart. I'm bullish on this trade. I really like this company. I think they have a lot going for them, and soon they're going to be at 50 bucks, and you're going to thank me for that. But we are up here at a triple top right now, and I called the double top, and I said if we get to 35, this thing's going to pull back. We did hit that 35 right here, and she did have a nice pullback to the previous resistance level, which now became support at 27.93. So I'm looking at a triple top breakout. I want to break 36 bucks, and I want to run this up to 50 long. And then if she does pull back, or if I feel like I see it, I just get that little feeling, that gut instinct, I'll go ahead and get out of the trade and buy the dip. I'm bullish on this stock. I've traded it I don't know how many times. And I just, I just really like this trade. That's CCIV, again, 
strong buy if it does pull back to 70 27 bucks i don't see that happening i do have a red line support right here at 33 uh, 48 let's pull this up on the daily one minute right here at 33 47 that's going to be my first support level second 32 33 3166 with a strong buy down here at 39 31 dollars a resistance to break is going to be my double top at 36 and if i can break that we'll run it up to 37 37 50 38 all the way up to 50. now if i see any signs of weakness or any news comes out that's neg negative about it i'm going to get out of the trade and buy the dip cciv the next one we're going to talk about let's see what else is on our list here we've got Tesla. Tesla is one of my best calls last week. We're going to go ahead and put that in here. We're going to look at the yearly first. So you just show you what kind of nice little run this thing's had off the year. We had that split. When that split happened, I said strong buy, go long. We did kind of go long, and she's ran up pretty nice. And now we're, we hit a, a nice new target last couple weeks ago at $900. So that's my new target for a double top break. Bet $940. Let's go ahead and pull this back. $900.40 is what I meant to say to the 20 day. I got a lot of lines in here. I want to kind of go ahead. I'll, I don't want to erase them yet. So we'll bring this up to the daily one minute, but I do have a strong buy. I had a strong support level. I called out in the room at 800 bucks. We hit 797 and even dropped down to, I did have a strong, strong buy at 777. So we hit 780 and I did a video on this talking about it. And we also talked about it in my two hour session that I do on Saturday. So that was a pretty good little spot to get into the trade. And then we ran on up broke resistance levels and that was right up here right around the 865 and i think that's where we need to double top come uh next week let me look at the uh daily one minute so i've got little support levels that i want to talk about here we've got a resistance to break at the 853.44 if we can bust past that we're going to make it up here to the next resistance level and i'm going to draw a new one right in here at 858 so we've got more or less three to go we got to get to 856 48 858 89 and then this channel of resistance up here between 862 and 863 50 and if we can bust that level we're going to take this thing long to 900 bucks and that's going to be and i'm bullish on the trade but we are in a little bit of uh let me go here to the daily i just want to check one thing out on this cci Yeah, this is getting ready to be a strong buy again, I think. If we do get any kind of pullback on this stock, it's going to run right back up. It's going to run right back up. I'm going to look at the daily one minute one more time on this. I was looking at the divergence that we had on Friday, and this is how I like to take the trade on a good day, is when I see that, that higher low come in on the second pullback, that more or less tells me that I want to get into the trade. And I would, I think I took that trade a little bit sooner. I took it off his first dip because I was just seeing, liking the action that I saw on it. And then when she pulled back, she went ahead and she ran all the way up. And this was a uh, like a two thousand uh, dollar option call at eight sixty four seventy seven. So I got out of it at eight hundred, eighteen hundred. So I did three hundred percent gain on this trade right here alone. I think. If we can break this resistance level of 853.44, we're going to try to double top and break this resistance level of 862, 862 to 863.50 and eventually get to 900 with a strong buy, like I said, down here in the loading zone. And that's going to be right here, right around 839 if she does pull back. That needs to hold. If not, we'll go to that 835.55 for your next support. And that's Tesla. Then we have one more to talk about, and it's also one of my favorite China plays. It's Nile. Now, you know, I remember when this first came out, uh, the IPO, we were really excited about it. I had a target to $20, and 
Uh, we made it to like 10 or 11, and then she went ahead and pulled back under two uh, eventually. But I was bullish on it back then, and I just kind of threw it off the table. I had a great opportunity to buy this trade at two bucks, a little right around three, and I didn't take it. I wish I would have, but uh, and just did a, like a one-year contract on it. But back then, the EV car sector wasn't as bullish. That didn't happen until probably about uh, when they, all the others started grouping in and started con you know, collaborating and doing their SPACs and doing whatever they could to get into this, this sector. And that was back during, right before the election, when I called the EV car sector bullish into 2021 and strong into 2021. So this is Nile. I like Nile a lot. I don't like it as much as Tesla because I love Tesla and CCIV is starting to pick up some of that market share that it is from Nile and from Tesla and from these other car EV car companies. So always keep that CCIV on your watch list. I think in another year or two, we're going to get to 100, 120 bucks on it easily, but I'm target for right now on CCIV is one is 50. So let's look at the chart on Nile and see where we can come up with a price on this. I'm going to look at the 20 day. It's about all I need on this one right here. We got to, well, let me pull it up a little bit farther. I've got a support level down here at 5027 to get into the trade. If this thing pulls back, right now it's kind of showing a, uh, showing a little bit of bearishness but i think we're about ready to squeeze and it's going to either tell us if it wants to reverse off this support line of 54.34 or 54 dollars and if we can reverse that'll be great if not i've got a strong buy signal right down here at 50.27 to hold i'd love to see that hold and definitely if it drops below that this 39.87 level is going to be where I want to get into the trade and swing it back up to resistance at 65. And that'll be a long trade that I'll take. And as long as it stays in this cloud, I'm going to be happy. So that's why I've got this $50 support level right here um, for a strong buy. And that's going to be Nile. I want resistance to break here at 64, 65 bucks. And I want it to get to $70 here in, an, in another week or two or sooner. And that's it for the market report. Now, please subscribe, ring that bell. If you like this video, hit that like button. I'd sure appreciate that. Miss Vegas is uh, the money flow queen. She's posting alerts in here on a daily basis. We're getting getting it up on our following. We want to get this thing to 10,000. I got my lucky employee number right there, 401. So let's do it. Let's do it. And then we got our stock twits. You can always hit this like button and follow me on Stock Twits where I'm posting alerts in here on a constant basis. And they link over to uh, Twitter. So that's also we have Twitter link. I have a Twitter link, but also on that site we have Miss Vegas' uh, link on Stock Twits. If you could hit that and follow her, that would really be appreciated. And that's it for I Love Stocks. Subscribe, ring that bell, and have a great day, and I'll see you on Monday.